Welcome to the Accra Red Church. We aspire to be a strong united church, impacting families. Come, let us enter in communities. Bow down and worship him. This is the hour. Workplaces. Say that again. Sing with me. This is the hour. And nations for Christ. Practice, they say, makes perfect. That's our theme for today's family service, which will feature the teens, the Sunday school, and the youth in reading and talking to us and showing and in dancing. And the old folks would also have their share. We begin our service as we sing MHB 386. All oh, you who came from above, the pure celestial fire to impart, kindle a flame of sacred love, upon the mean altar of my heart. teaches us in Matthew chapter 7 that we should be like people who build their house on a rock through our obedience. So as we obey Jesus, it's like we are building our house little by little on the rock. Hallelujah. Please join us to sing this song. me <laughs> Me bo esiniye na mini Jesus bets na me si me dan 
makes perfect. So let's do this together. One, two, three, let's go. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Let's do it together. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, if you want to grow. If you want to grow, if you want to grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to go. Now there's another version we want you to watch and sing along. Amen. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Don't read your Bible, don't pray every day, don't pray every day. Don't pray every day. Don't read your Bible. Don't pray every day. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Don't read your Bible. Don't pray every day. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Read your Bible. Pray every day. 
Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Hello, children. Our Sunday school lesson today is on how practice makes us perfect. I'm sure you've heard the word perfect before, and you've heard practice also before. Practice is doing something over and over until you get it right. Have you ever looked at mommy cooking or driving a car? Have you seen daddy weeding, changing a light bulb? Do you think that they were able to do this just one day when they woke up and then they knew how to do it. I don't think so. I think they learned it by practicing, by doing it one time, getting it wrong, trying again, until they were able to do it without having to think about it. I'm sure mommy doesn't look in a book to check whether she has to turn right when she's taking you to school or not. It's come from doing it over and over again. So now she understands what to do. She knows what to do at what time. And it all came from practicing the things that they want to do. How about you? Can you ride a bike? I'm sure the first time you rode a bike, you fell. You fell and cried and decided you won't do it again, but then you really wanted to, so you sat on it again. And then, after practicing so many times, now you can probably ride your bike faster than anybody that you know of. That's what practice does to you. It helps you to perfect things that you do not know about. And gradually, you become very good at it, that you don't have to think about it. It becomes a part of you. Today, that's what our le lesson is about. To get good at anything, you have to practice. As Christians, we also have to practice. We also have to emulate the things that Jesus is. The things that we hear at church, do we put them into practice? Or we simply come to church every Sunday, listen, go home, and forget about it? If we just listen and don't put it into practice, then we won't get good at it. You know, sometimes we'll ask you, oh, can you pray? Kirsten, can you pray? Marisa, can you pray? And every time you practice, you learn how to do it just a little bit better. So the next time you are called, you don't shake, you don't feel shy, you're not worried about it. You simply do it because you've been practicing. You've done it one time and another time, and you know what to do. And you can simply go to Jesus and talk to him because you've been practicing. That's what the Christian life is about. The things that you learn at Sunday school, when you go home, you practice it. You make it a part of your life so that at any time, you can actually do it without having to think about it. It becomes a part of you and it makes you a better Christian. Jesus wants all of his children to become perfect, just like him to be able to emulate him simply by putting God's word into practice. So when you learn something from the Bible, when you read something from the Bible, you don't just shut the Bible, you practice the things that you have learned in the Bible. Just as you, sometimes, some of the girls, I'm sure you do that, you wear mommy's clothes or her shoes and you walk around, or the boys, you walk like daddy, you talk like him, or grandma, the way she probably cooks, etc. And it's simply because you want to be like them. You want to emulate. You want to one day grow up and be like them. It's the same thing Jesus requires of you. It requires that you practice to be like him. You try and do the things that he's asked you to do so that gradually you become perfect. In Matthew 5 verse 48, it says that you should be perfect just as God is perfect. So... What are some of the things that God wants you to be perfect at? Or what are some of the things that you can practice doing? You can practice speaking the truth. You can practice sharing. You can practice being kind. You can practice so many of the things that we've learned at Sunday school. And when you practice these things, they become a part of your life. This week, I'm going to ask you to do something. What I'm going to ask you to do is to practice these things that we have learned at church. Speak the truth at all times. Don't pretend you haven't heard mommy when she's asking you, did you do this? No. Speak the truth. Share. Be kind. 
Be patient with your brothers and sisters. Don't get into little fights and pinch people right behind their backs when mommy is not seeing. These are some of the things that you should do to practice becoming a perfect child of God. I'm sure you can do that. Next week or during the week, just practice these things. And then at the end of the week, ask mommy, how did I do? If you did well, I'm sure she'll give you a pat on the back or one toffee or something. Or probably when all of this is over and you come back to Sunday school, Auntie Gina will definitely give you candy so that you know that you definitely did well practicing how to be a Christian, how to be a perfect child of God. It all takes little, little steps and practicing what you should do. When you do these things, gradually there will be a change in you. You will be a perfect child of God. And that is what it's all about, learning to be like Jesus, taking little steps that will make us be like Jesus. So our memory verse is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. And it says, Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. See you next week. Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Hey! Do what it says Do, do, do Just do it Do what it says Oh yeah, oh yeah Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Hey, hey, do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Oh yeah, oh yeah Do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Do what it says Just do it Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Hey, hey, do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Oh yeah, oh yeah Do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Do what it says Do not merely listen to the word And so deceive yourself Hey, hey, do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Oh yeah, oh yeah Do what it says Do, 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 just do it Do what it says Do what it says The first scripture reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 13, verses 13 to 25. Acts 13, 13 to 25. From Paphos, Paul and his companions sailed to Perga in Pamphylia, where John left them to return to Jerusalem. From Perga, they went on to Pesidon, Antioch. On the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and sat down. After the reading from the law and the prophets, the synagogue rulers sent word to them, saying, Brothers, if you have a message of encouragement for the people, please speak. Standing up, Paul motioned with his hand and said, Men of Israel and you Gentiles who worship God, listen to me. The God of the people of Israel chose our fathers. He made the people prosper during their stay in Egypt. With mighty power, he led them out of that country. He endured their conduct for about 40 years in the desert. 
He overthrew seven nations in Canaan and gave their land to his people as their inheritance. All this took about 450 years. After this, God gave them judges until the time of Samuel the prophet. Then the people asked for a king, and he gave them Saul, son of Kish, of the tribe of Benjamin, who ruled 40 years. After removing Saul, he made David their king. He testified concerning him. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. From this man's descendants, God has brought to Israel the Savior Jesus, as he promised. Before the coming of Jesus, John preached repentance and baptism to all the people of Israel. As John was completing his work, he said, Who do you think I am? I am not that one. No, but he is coming after me, whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. Here ends the first scripture reading. The second scripture reading is taken from John chapter 13, verse 16 to 20. John chapter 13, verse 16 to 20. I tell you the truth. No servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. I am not referring to all of you. I know those I have chosen, but this is to fulfill the scripture. He who shares my bread has lifted up his heel against me. I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am he. I tell you the truth. Whoever accepts anyone I send accepts me, and whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me. This is the end of the scripture reading. Hallelujah. We want to praise our God on whom we can call anytime and every time. Hallelujah. If we call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, all ye saints of God. Draw near to him, he is here with us. Give him your love. He's in love with us. He will heal our hearts. He will cleanse our hands. If we rend our hearts, He will heal our land. He will heal our land. Oh, sing for joy to God our strength. again from the top. Let's go. If we call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now praise his name, all ye saints of God. All ye saints of God. Let's do verse 2 again. Draw near to him, he is here with us. Give him your love, he's in love with us. He will heal our hearts, he will cleanse our hands. If we rend our hearts, he will heal our land. He will heal our land. Oh, sing for joy to God our strength.
Our theme for today is Practice Makes Perfect. Practice Makes Perfect. Our text is from John chapter 13, verse 17. If you know these things, blessed are you, are you if you do them. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Practice means actual application or the use of an idea. It's a repeated exercise that's supposed to be done. It's a performance through a method. Then make is to form, compose, or cause something to come about, or carry out, or to perform. So practice and make have an idea of performance. Then perfect is having all the required or desirable qualities, highly suitable for something, and lacking nothing, lacking nothing. I'm sure we all want to be called perfect, just like we learned the other day, that if you want to be perfect, then allow yourself to go through some trial and some tribulation. Then your patience would have been tried, and you have been molded, and you become perfect, lacking no good thing or lacking nothing. So if we are going to practice so we can make and then be perfect, then it means that we are supposed to do something over and over and over again. Psychologists tell us that if you can do something out on every day for six weeks, or you can do something repeatedly six times over an interval, it could become a habit. And that habit becomes part and parcel of you. It becomes your, 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 your life. Jesus himself did that. Jesus in Luke chapter 4, verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read. So he went to the synagogue constantly meant that he had made a practice and he had become so perfect in it, it became his custom. Now, what does it mean? Let's exemplify what happened that day. Jesus walks into the temple. He is handed the scroll. And the scroll is not like the Bible we have today where you just open and flip. But it's a whole big bundle of, of parchments or roll of paper. And you must know where the information is. And as you unroll, you roll. So that one is catching and the other is holding or the other is wrapping. And he must know where it is. So he found exactly where he wanted and he read. And when he had read, he also spoke the word. And they said he did it so well that he was different from the others. He had practiced. He had done it so well from his infancy and youth that he had become perfect. And they said he even taught with authority. The same example can be said of Paul in the Acts of that uh, passage that was read for us. He goes to a place and then the brothers read the scriptures. And then they invite him to preach. Many of us, when we are even prompted, we are going to preach, we shudder. But if we are able to do it over and over and again, practice constantly, and on, then it becomes part and parcel of you. When you are called upon at any time, you can preach, as the word says, in season and out of season. And so let's follow what Paul did and become like anyone who, when he's called upon, can, become, can just stand up and give the word the way it's supposed to be given, and the way it, it, it should be read and heard. You may not be able to preach like Paul today, but like our Sunday school have taught us, read your Bible, pray every day, you will grow. You will become perfect. It will become your custom. Like the, you taught us, if we put a brick one after the other on a daily basis, we'll be building, and we'll become a built-up a built space that is so good, and it will be the perfect um, example. It will be the perfect plus place everybody will want to see because we have constantly practiced. Practice makes perfect. It may not always be easy. Physically, if you want to be built like George Best or Foreman, you must really build on a daily basis. Morning, afternoon, evening, you pick up some metals, you lift them up, and then you build your body muscles. You build stamina also. We are told that in this COVID, there are other things that will help us it's when we exercise. So do it every day. Spiritually, you can practice and become perfect. If we will spend continuous time praying, Jesus got up early in the morning and he prayed. Matthew Luther says that I have so much to do unless I pray, my day will not go well. So make it a practice to pray and you'll become perfect in prayer. Finances can be a tricky thing, but if you learn to save one penny, one dime, one CD at a time, 
By the time you are old enough, children, you know how to manage money, and you become a millionaire. A young girl at 10 said she had, she had, she had taken a financial management classes. And at 10 years, she was so rich, at 15, she wants to own a bank because she had practiced and become so good with money. And what about speech? If I don't practice the way I'm talking to you constantly, I will fumble. I will make mistakes, both grammatic and, 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 and pronunciation. But practice makes perfect. And so let us learn to practice everything we are taught, children. Let us practice everything we are taught, teens and youth. Let us practice everything we are taught. Practice, practice, practice. And your rough edges will be smoothened. You become like a diamond shining with all the lights uh, over you. And everybody will want to be like you because you will have become perfect, excellent in everything, and lacking in no good thing. Amen. Let us pray. If we would practice the little things we are taught, washing of hands, social distancing, putting on a face mask, and staying at home when it's, necess- when it's not necessary for us to go out, we'll become perfect in this new normal, such that we would stop or curb the disease. We'll be perfect as a, as a country, and we'll have no illness. We'll have no COVID-19 disease spreading around. I pray that, Lord, you will cause us to understand and obey the leadership in this wise. We also pray for the medics, those who drive and those who receive, those who look after and those who care, those who administer and those who even take notes. Every one of them in the front line, they need your special protection. But they themselves also need to practice their medicine and their, and, 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 and their guides that they would not fall into illness. We pray for our country. Let the leadership practice in what they present to us, speaking in love and in authority as you did. We will appreciate and will follow. We also pray that the leadership of this church will continue to learn and practice and they will be a working example of the Bible and we will also follow. We pray that daddies and mummies will continue to set the example. They will bring us to church when it's necessary. And we would also learn your word. And when we have learned it, we'll read your Bible. We'll pray every day because we want to grow. We don't want to be the people who don't want to read and don't want to pray so that we will shrink. But we want to pray and read your Bible so that we'll grow and grow and grow. There are many more things on our hearts we pray that you will cause us to learn to pray. And when we have prayed, you will answer our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We close our service as we sing Methodist Hymn 300. Methodist Hymn 300. Breathe on me the breath of God. Breathing is an, is an involuntary exercise. We have become so good at it, we don't need extra lessons to do it. And that's the kind of thing, if you would learn to do your practice and praying and reading, you would become, it will become second nature to you. It will become like breathing. Prayer, which is the breath of the Christian, will become normal and natural to you so that you will not lack any good thing. Breathe on me, breath of God. MHB 300.
Shall we close with a prayer and receive the benediction? O you who are able to keep us from falling because you cause us to practice on a daily basis and you help us overcome all the pains and aches which practice brings. We want to be the champions because our, we want our football teams to be the champions. We want to be the lead because we want our athletes to be the lead. We want to be the best because we want our ministers and everyone to be the best. And it's all because we will practice these things and learn. We pray that as we go, you remind us that one day at a time, poco a poco, we would win. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The benediction. I commit you into the Lord's hand who is able to help you to practice and to make you perfect in every good work. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace both now and always. And may he cause you to walk in his path aright. And may you never stumble. And may you grow from strength to strength and be established, perfect in every good work. In Jesus' name, amen.